I started going to car boots, I started going in and out of charity shops, um, just kind of just talking to people. It was, it was more of a selfish thing at that time. I just wanted to find rare records. It got to a point where, you know, it was like, hang on, like, I might actually be able to do something with this. The shop really came about from the natural progression in vinyl becoming popular again. I was just speaking with my dad and I just said like, you know, I really would like to open a shop, I need to. And he looked at me and was just like, well, open one then, you dickhead. Yeah, when I saw this place, I was like, this is great. I get to stay in Brixton. I'm just like, wow, this is, this, does, this stuff doesn't happen to me or, you know, this is the like, kind of dream stuff. This one is by far probably the most expensive from the wall. Um, a single uh, by 10 feet uh, called Shoot On Sight. I've got 400 pounds on it. There are people out there that, you know, want these records so much that they will literally pay anything for them. You know, they're, they're, they're that rare. You know, it has gone as high as 720 online, so there's that kind of, well, why sell it in a shop? But that's what we want. We, we want people to come in and find these records. On this wall, we've got more of the LPs. And again, these records, you know, they just don't pop up regularly. These are records that, you know, are real collector's items. You know, there is no kind of one person demographic. It's literally everyone. And the good thing about record shops is that usually they are a little bit off the beaten track and most people will travel or make that extra kind of effort to make it to a good record shop. It's not just house people or dance people, you know, it's, it's everyone. Mm -hmm.